Here's the situation. You have a sample. Could be DNA, could be protein, could be something somebody else extracted. And now you have an epitube with some clear liquid in it. And you don't know how much there is. So what do you do? All you need is a micropipetter and about a minute of your time. As you can see, epitubes tend to have markings for volumes on their sides. So uh, while these will not give you a, a super accurate reading, what they will do is they will give you a rough idea of how much liquid might actually be inside. Once you have this estimate, what you want to do is get a micropipetter and set it to a volume just a little bit larger, a little bit higher than the estimated volume. And once you have that, as you can see here, Oconia is going to draw up all of the liquid from inside the tube. Now what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to get all the liquid plus a little bit of air in the bottom of that tip, as you can see here. And what Oconia is going to do now is she's going to start changing the volume on the micropipetter. And as she does this, the liquid starts moving downwards towards the tip. Once you see the liquid reach the end of the tip, you have the final volume. Just take a look at the readout on your micropipetter and you're done. That's it. It's that simple.